Amid mega one nation one law debate, we're given to understand that the parliament panel has called for a key meeting on UCC. A parliamentary standing committee has called representatives of the law commission and the law ministry on 3rd July uh, on uh, the issue of discussing views on the uniform civil code. Harish is joining us with more details. Harish, uh, what uh, has the notice mentioned as far as the Parliamentary Standing Committee is concerned? Yes, uh, good morning, Swati. Uh, yes, a big uh, development as far as uh, the raging uh, debate over the implementation of UCC in the country is uh, concerned. Now, a Parliamentary Standing Committee on Law and Justice has said it will hear on July 3rd views of uh, officials from Department of Legal Affairs, Legislative Department, and most importantly, Law Commission of India on implementation of UCC. And Rajasthan Secretary Tassan a notice issued uh, late last night said the meeting is based on the notice issued by the Law Commission seeking views of the stakeholders, including uh, recognized religious organizations. So uh, this poses a question if the process has been fast-tracked, expedited, as uh, there are still Two weeks left for the deadline set by the Law Commission for sending views and suggestions uh, uh, to end. And in, in between, the uh, parliamentary panel has uh, decided to hold, uh, hold a meeting. Uh, in fact, uh, this, uh, this commission has already said that it has received 8.5 lakh views hmm. so far in two weeks. And this meeting comes close on the heels of uh, the Prime Minister uh, pushing for a uh, UCC, saying that uh, it's a need of the hour. And even the Supreme Court has uh, several times, um, uh, so several times, uh, um, exhorted the need for a UCC, mm. and that also asked how the country can function with dual laws that govern personal matters. So now this July 3rd uh, meeting called by the Parliamentary Committee assumes significance in that view of the matter. Absolutely. So views are going to be discussed and views of uh, the Parliamentary Standing Committee members as well as uh, uh, the Law Commission members are going to be discussed. Like you said, uh, the deadline is uh, still uh, on. The deadline is not over in terms of the public feedback that has been invited. So how do you see these things moving? Of course, the executive has to take a decision on this. Yes, in fact, as uh, the Ritura Javasti, the Justice Ritura Javasti, who is the Law Commission Chairman, has said that uh, they are given a deadline till uh, July 14th uh, for the all the stakeholders to submit their views and suggestions. And after that, uh, Law Commission has said that uh, it will collate uh, the responses and make some recommendations for the government uh, to pursue. But uh, that is that is why this meeting. Uh, called on July 3rd, when the Law Commission um, deadline is uh, set for July 14th. That is why it's assumed significance. So we'll have to wait and watch uh, whether uh, Sushil Modi, uh, who heads the Parliamentary Committee on Legal Affairs, Law and Justice, will react to it and give the specific reasons as to why uh, such a meeting, uh, yeah. advanced meeting, has been called even before the deadline set by Law Commission uh, ends on only on July 14th. Right. Even before the meeting, we are getting reactions and political reactions coming in. Harish, thank you for joining us with those details. We're moving on uh, to breaking inputs. Congress's Manish Tiwari, in fact, has responded on this meeting that has been called. As the parliamentary panel calls for law commission, the Congress has questioned the parliamentary panel on UCC. Was UCC on list of subjects is the question that the Congress party is asking. Also uh, asserting that this is nothing but pushing a political agenda. We have Rishabh joining us with more details. Rishabh, political reactions coming in now as the Parliamentary Standing Committee has called for the representative of the Law Commission to discuss views on UCC. Congress party says, is this, uh, you know, an attempt to push political agenda? Definitely. See, uh, UCC, the Universal Civil uh, Code, has become a political, uh, you know, uh, discussion uh, between Congress and BJP. We heard the Prime Minister first pushing uh, for UCC from his Bhopal uh, event, and since then, uh, Congress and other political parties have been uh, aggressive on BJP. Now, when Sushil Modi led Parliamentary Standing Committee on Law, uh, has called the Law Commission uh, to discuss UCC. Now, Manish Tiwari, former Union. Minister and senior Congress leader have come out uh, in open and 
attacked the parliamentary uh, standing committee saying that wo whether uh, UCC uh, wo uh, was in the subject list or not or is the parliamentary standing committee pushing for a political agenda. So the war of word has begun on UCC. Remember only yesterday the parliamentary standing committee had asked the law commission to appear in front of uh, the, uh, the standing committee on Monday but remains to be seen how things unfold. For now the Congress party is all out in open saying that UCC is neither required nor necessary and uh, BJP is only doing it for its uh, vote bank and uh, Absolutely. politics. You know, you know, this is only going to further intensify the political war of words. Rishabh, keep tracking all the developments for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us with those